Good morning, beautiful people. Um, from Marsh Harbour in the Abacos, the beautiful Abacos. Well, if you can see from the sky behind me, it's probably going to rain today. Um, it rained, it squalled like bilio last night. We had at 1.42 knots across the deck. Uh, we only managed to get to the camera when it was gusting 35, so theoretically it didn't happen, but it did. Anyway, now that we have this apocalyptic sky, uh, I wanted to talk to you about water, how we collect water, how we make water. So we do have a water maker on board. Um, one thing that I would do differently if I had to outfit this boat again is I'd get a higher capacity water maker that was either AC driven or belt driven. We have a little DC driven one that makes four gallons an hour, which is fine because we can theoretically run it off of our renewables, but it needs to be on regularly. Anyway, as such, we collect rainwater when we can. So this is how we do it. Well, the first way we collect water and the easiest way for us to collect water is actually just to get it to flow straight into our main tank by opening the tank and building a, a dam um, downstream of the water tank entrance and then just letting rainwater flow off the decks and fill the tank. It works really, really effectively and we need a couple of little things to do that. The first thing we need is this. Now this to those in the know look at the wind look at the wind is um it's a tea infuser it's one of these little balls you can buy actually i found it in the in the hardware store here for five bucks that you put tea in and then it allows you to make a cup of tea the reason for this is that it provides a really really good filter for the entrance to our water vent and it actually fits just inside the water filler um, and stops like larger particles going in. We also have, we've had a few questions about, well, how do, you, how do you make sure that your water isn't kind of like polluted? We've drunk rainwater for years, never caused a problem. Um, probably better than just drinking the chemically treated stuff that uh, comes out of your taps. So yeah, we put open this up and put half of it just on the rim of the, um, of, of the inlet for our water, the way the hose goes in. So that's the first part of this process. The second part is half a pool noodle, which has been cut that way with some little slots in it to form the, um, the dam. And the third part is a weight to hold the pool noodle down. Now I'm using diving weights, which are made of lead inside a plastic bag because I don't really want lead going into the water. I have three dive weights to hold the pool noodle down and it forms an effective water collecting method. The second method we have of collecting rainwater is actually use our own bimini to collect the water. Now, we actually roll up the bimini sides. We have um, plastic sides on our bimini with all, they have plastic windows in. And you could use a polythene sheet if you, didn't, if you don't have bimini sides. And what you do is you just roll it up, make a big loop in it, where one end is higher than the other and the water will just roll off the bimini into the bimini side and um, you collect rainwater. Really, really effective for filling jerry jugs and that's what, how we fill our jerry jugs. We can fill, in a good rainstorm, we can fill a, a four gallon or a 20 litre jerry jug in about five minutes flat because the bimini's got a huge surface. So yeah, so we fill our jerry jugs with the, uh, with the bimini sides and we fill the main tank using a filter and a dam just on the fore deck.
And as always in the tropics, you get a couple of hours of torrential rain and kind of like all hell breaking loose and then the sun comes out and the solar panels charge up and you think, what happened this morning? If it wasn't for the slight damp odor perfusing the entire anchorage and steam rising up over the fabric that got wet, we wouldn't even really know that it had, well, rained heavily. Um, just had a message from our crew who uh, flew back last night and she said that she almost thought she was gonna die in the plane over the weather was so bad. So uh, yeah, that's not good news for her. Anyway, little bit about collecting rainwater. As I said, we have a water maker. These two methods today, it rained for about an hour. We collected 20 liters, so that's five gallons in the jug, and we collected about 50 liters, and that is 12 gallons just through the dam. It is a really effective way of catching rainwater. As those of you who live on boats will know, most things, most commodities are scarce. We never have a, a welcome and limitless supply of water, electricity, food, and this is just a really good way of topping up your water tanks. It is simple, it is relatively cheap because the bits that you need you either have on board or you can pick up just in hardware supply stores. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we are now going to take long hot showers because we have hot water and we have lots of it. Anyway, please feel free to subscribe. There is a little icon down below on the lower right hand side which is our subscribe to YouTube button. We also now have, we've got Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Instagram, and now of all things we have Snapchat. So that's our snap code. If you want to see what we're doing behind the scenes, see our day-to-day -day life, and just see the little stories that we are putting out when we're not putting out YouTube videos, you'll find them all on those four social medias. Back soon with another technical video. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.